I, Dr. Manpreet Kaur, from Chemistry Department. Today, I will demonstrate study of carbohydrates in pure form and detection of their presence in given foodstuffs. Okay. What are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones or the substances which upon hydrolysis yield such compounds like glucose, fructose, sucrose, maltose, starch and cellulose. All carbohydrates except cellulose act as a biofuels as they provide energy for functioning of living system. Now, what are the classification of carbohydrates? We can classify carbohydrates into monosaccharide. So, monosaccharides are what? They cannot be further hydrolyzed. And second is oligosaccharides, which upon hydrolysis to give a few monosaccharides. And monosaccharides and oligosaccharides collectively termed as a sugars. Now, third category is polysaccharides, which upon hydrolysis give a large number of monosaccharides such as starch, cellulose that will be termed as a non-sugars. Now, sugars are further classified as reducing sugar and non-reducing sugar. In non-reducing sugar, we can take the example like glucose and fructose and in non-reducing sugar, it is a sucrose. So, what will be the experiment which we perform today? That is, study of carbohydrates in pure form and detection of their presence in given foodstuffs. So, let's start. So, before start, I can talk about the theory. So, carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehyde or ketones or compounds which upon hydrolysis furnish such compounds. They are identified by characteristic test such as Mollish test, Felling test, Benedict solution test, etc. The, what are the apparatus and chemical required for the performance? So, apparatus requirement have test tubes, beakers, test tube stand, glass rod, burner. And what about chemical requirement? For this, we need glucose, sucrose, starch, Mollish reagent, Felling solution, Tollens reagent, Benedict solution, iodine solution, and etc. So, what will be the procedure? So, to identify whether a given substance is carbohydrate or not, we shall perform some important tests. That test included such as Mollish test, concentrated H2SO4 test, Tollens reagent, Felling solution test, Benedict solution test, and iodine test. So, test for carbohydrates. So, first we will do concentrated H2SO4 test. For this test, we heat a pinch of given substance with 2 ml of concentrated H2SO4 in a dry test tube. So, what will be the observation for this? We observe that chairing take place with the smell of burnt sugar. If it, there is a chairing is there, that will represent that carbohydrate is present. Now, another test is Mollish test. For this, we will take a 2 to 3 ml of water and 0.1 gram of the given substance in a test tube. Now, add to it a few drops of 1% solution of alpha naphthol, that is a Mollish reagent. Now, then followed by the addition of concentrated H2SO4 along the sides of the test tubes. So, what will we observe? We observe after the performance of this test, a deep violet colored ring is formed at the junction of two layers. And this inferences that carbohydrate is present. Now, we will move for the third test that is 
failing solution test. For this test, mix vol equal volume of failing solution A and failing solution B in a test tube. Now add a pinch of given substance to the above solution and shake well. Keep the test tube in a boiling water for 3 to 4 minutes. What will we observe? We observe that there is a red precipitates of Cu2O formed and this will inference that a reducing sugar such as glucose, fructose, lactose extra that will be present by doing this test. So what will be the chemistry regarding the this red precipitation? The chemistry related to this red precipitation of copper oxide is what? In this process we have seen that the copper two ions of this complex are reduced to red colored precipitate or cuprous one oxide ion. So this is the chemistry related to the observation. Thank you. Thank you very much.